Coming up on today's edition of Wildcat Weekly, pumpkin carving, scary movies, and a haunted house. All this and more coming up next. Hi, and welcome to this Halloween edition of Wildcat Weekly. I'm your host, Mandy Banier. Pumpkin carving is a popular Halloween tradition. Caitlin and Avery have a contest to see what team can carve the best pumpkin. For years, Halloween has carried on the tradition of pumpkin carving. We wanted to put students' carving skills to the test. Let's meet our contestants. The teams were able to pick any design they wanted for their pumpkin. They were given all the tools needed to complete their design. Throughout the given time period, the contestants were hard at work in order to defeat the opposing teams. We walked the halls of Niqua to ask our peers whose pumpkin they thought was the best and tallied up the votes. So me and Connor uh, had some really good brainstorming ideas uh, the days prior to this uh, pumpkin contest and uh, we executed it well and it really paid off. Congratulations to Matt and Connor for winning the contest. And for Wildcat Weekly, along with Caitlin Jacobson, I'm Avery Champion. Halloween is tomorrow and everyone is rushing to get the perfect costume. Doug has a last minute scoop on what to wear. Dressing up for Halloween has been a favorite tradition among Nequa's students and staff. I've just always liked Halloween. Uh, it gives you a chance to be someone else for the day. It gives you a chance to kind of put on a different personality or act slightly different than you normally would. Um, I've always liked haunted houses. I like scary things. And uh, so I always try and dress up like a scary clown. And throughout the day, especially at the freshman building, I've, I have a good time with it. An easy last minute costume is a politician. All you need is a suit, suit pants, a dress shirt, and a tie. We'll bring it back. Bigger and better and stronger than ever before, and we will make America great again. Thank you. Th Next costume is a Chicago classic. To become the Bart Man, you'll need a green turtleneck, a blue sweater, a cub set, and headphones to become the greatest villain in Chicago sports history. This is your classic ghost costume. All you need is a sheet. I got a quarter. I got a rock. One of the easiest and simplest costumes is Facebook. All you have to do is write the word book across your face in Sharpie, and you're ready to go out and trick or treat. And for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Doug McKissick. One fun thing to do on Halloween is to visit a haunted house. Maddie has the inside scoop on a haunted house near you. Located under Bolly Doyle Restaurant, Basement of the Dead and Shattered is a great haunted house to visit. Over the 12 years, we have... Uh, We've gotten a lot of different, uh, uh, you know, rating, you know, rated number one by Chicago Tribune, rated number one on uh, Haunt World Magazine, and, you know, so it's, 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 a, it's a highly decorated haunted house. It is also ranked 23rd in the nation for the third year in a row. Basement of the Dead has been open for 13 years and Shattered has been open for three. We get uh, anywhere from 10 to 15,000 people. A year. It takes about two hours to get all of the actors in makeup and costume for Basement of the Dead and Shattered. So we have about uh, two to three different makeup artists working on people. We do clowns, we do um, victim type things where you get some blood and things like that. Come visit Basement of the Dead and Shattered at 42 West New York Street in Aurora from 7 to 11 today and 6 to 11 tomorrow. Happy Halloween, and for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Maddie Rampasoon. Round one of playoffs is here, and once again, our varsity Wildcats have clinched themselves a spot. Dylan has the details. The Niqua Valley football team has clinched their very first postseason playoff berth in the DuPage Valley Conference. You know, one of the keys to uh, 
winning playoff games is playing a clean game, not having penalties, uh, not turning the ball over, you know, and then once you've done that, then obviously you have to have a solid defensive and offensive effort. Every team you see is going to be very good, uh, you know, so the talent level is very even, so it really comes down to what's going to make the difference, and a lot of times that is uh, going to be either penalties or, you know, turnovers. This year I believe we have something to prove because the past five or six years we've lost either the team that won state or the team that made it to state. So, and last year we lost to a good home of Flossmoor team. So this year I think we have a good team and I think that we have potential to make it far. So I believe we do have something to prove, especially going uh, losing our last two games of the regular season. I think we have something to prove that we're not, we're not, we shouldn't be a 19 seed. Another key component in a successful season is having confidence in your teammates both on and off the field. This year we're a very tight group. Um, I think that everyone, everyone knows each other, everyone has each other's backs, and I think that that's actually a big advantage going into the playoffs because, I mean, having everyone's back is, is one thing that, that some teams can't overcome. Come out to Hensdale Central to support your Wildcats as they take on the Red Devils in the first round of the playoffs. Kickoff is at 6 p.m., and for Wildcat Weekly, I'm Dylan Yates. During the month of October, scary movies make their appearance on TV. Kyle and Eden find out who at Niqua can do the best impersonation. As Halloween approaches, that means all the scares become more frequent. Students and faculty love watching scary movies, but can they impersonate their favorite lines? We see who has the best horror movie voice. Here's Johnny! Here's Johnny! They're here! They're here! I see dead people. I see dead people. I want to play a game. play a game. Here's what happens if you lose. Thank you to all the wonderful voices you have, Wildcats. We can't wait to see you in Hollywood in the future. And for Wildcat Weekly, along with Kyle Daly, I'm Eden Kosova. Thank you for watching this Halloween edition of Wildcat Weekly.